my first time checking out this channel with y'all i've watched this is this is a relatively new channel like literally this is a new channel uh, i watched the other three videos that bro posted off stream and i was like not only is this channel really good there's high quality stuff in here but the growth of this channel has been insane to watch first video two months ago already at 352,000 subs because these videos are so great um i'm very excited so we're checking this out this is uh good enough we're talking about the deadliest man eaters to ever exist i know it's gonna be great like i said i watched the other three videos on this channel they were hard so let's see bro Yeah, bro's very informative, very informative, actually really funny. And I just like the art style because like it's chill, but detailed. Let's start with the most you know? horrifying man eaters on the list and slowly work our way towards the stuff of nightmares. Number eight, the spotted devil of Gamma Lepore. The spotted oh? devil was the nickname given to one of the most feared leopards to have ever lived. In the 1940s in the state of Tamil Nadu, India, the leopard would claim 250 miles of jungle as its personal hunting grounds. Okay. The this leopard was so feared was for its proficiency in hunting humans. Yikes, bro. Enough, leopards are nocturnal hunters. Uh, so any yikes. Attack that would be carried out would be in the darkness of night where you would never see it coming. Yikes. And 42 people across multiple villages would meet this horrible Yo. thing. The spotted devil became so feared that after a while, people in the villages began to barricade their doors after sunset and refused to step foot outside, including to use the restroom, causing a health crisis in many villages. Yikes. In frustration, the leopard would begin to enter homes through windows, roofs or by any yo no 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 because this is the first one what do you mean bro was breaking in bro was breaking in to eat people and it's the first one this isn't the nightmare one what snatching people in the dead of night and dragging them into the forest nah. until the famous hunter kenneth anderson was called for help hey Look, man, like I was just saying, chat that Second Amendment, man. Oh, man. Yeah, that forehead is wild. Night and dragging them into the forest to be devoured. It wouldn't be until the famous hunter, Kenneth Anderson, was called for help that the leopard would finally Yo. be Anderson was a literally that specialized in hunting big game animals, especially those that hunted humans. W it would take him three nights to finally come face to face with the cat. Just on its grind. It was on the wrong grind, bro. This is not the Sigma male grind set. This is Andrew Tate, bro. He would be woken up in the middle of the night. This is horrible. By a stray dog that he befriended that night. Mm. And he began to finally shake with uncontrollable fear. Right, when literally. Anderson looked up at the roof. He would catch a glimpse of the devil before losing it in the darkness. He then began to actively search for the cat. Yes. And after a few minutes had gone by, I don't think he it is, man. Alerted by a bark from the stray dog, causing Anderson <laughs> to quickly turn around yeah. and see the leopard charging straight at him. Yikes. In that instant, he managed to let off three shots from his 405 caliber Winchester. Okay. Cat in its trap. Okay. After examining the body, Anderson would discover porcupine quails lodged between the toes of the Yo. leopard's foot, an injury that prevented it from hunting its natural prey resulting the animal to turn to human flesh. Wow. As for the stray dog that Anderson befriended during that hunt. That's crazy. He would actually go on to adopt him. Hey, that's Anderson, so hard. The that's so hard. Good. This was a pair of baby Yo, I kind of forgot that's the first one, man. Consisting of an old tigress and her young adult cub, which over the course of five years managed to accumulate 64 confirmed Yo. kills. This all took place in the Kumal division in India from 1925. Yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Tier needs to do way more videos on animals in the India server because this is crazy. 1930. The pair of tigers would turn yeah, the 1,500 square mile mountain region into their own personal hunting grounds. This Yikes. terrain would include multiple villages which they actively hunted. They would alternate attacks from village to village as this tactic allowed them to catch the villagers off guard. Bro. After three years,
years of three years, years the locals began to reach out and seek the help of jim corbett jim corbett was an indian-born british hunter who okay. specialized in hunting man-eating tigers and leopards but to catch this pair of tigers it would take corbett three separate hunting trips that spanned over a period of two years bro Eventually, on his third trip on the 19th day he would finally come face to face with a pair of tigers he headed to the small village of kala agar which was mm. the last place the tigers were known to nice. there he began to hang buffalo meat as bait in the hopes that it would lure out the cats while on post corbett would be alerted by a companion that they had heard the lions nearby and before he knew it, he would turn a corner and catch himself standing right in front of the tigress. Yikes. At a distance of eight feet. She was sitting next to a large boulder when Corbett would take the shot, killing her and putting an end to the attack. What about the other one? He would then kill the young adult cub there we go. after. Upon further investigation, he would discover that the tiger's claws and canine teeth were broken and her front teeth completely crazy, down, bro. Causing her to turn to humans as her primary source of food. Number six. Okay. Some of the crocodile. This was a bro. crocodile that lived on Lake Victoria in Africa. Africa server. 1991 through 2005. This was recent. That this one crocodile has eaten over 83 people. It's very difficult. No, 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 no. Because how are we going to jump from 64 with a tiger to 83 with a crocodile? Bro. These numbers since the crocodile. Would and why does this thing not even have like broken teeth? It just felt like it. Oftentimes attack people that were fishing alone. See? And of course, would consume them whole. There have been multiple this is crazy. pieces of clothing would wash ashore from someone who had recently went missing. But sadly, ripped pieces of clothing were not the only people Ooh. to wash ashore. Sometimes an arm or a leg would too. Yikes. The locals have even reported seeing children dragged from shore after Yikes. attempting to fill their buckets. But the horrifying nightmare doesn't stop there. The crocodile would even develop the skill of capsizing boats by sliding Yo. the boat from underneath, sending the fishermen flying into the water, becoming easy lunch. This crocodile was such a menace that he would that is insane. just launch himself vertically out of the water and belly flopping directly onto people's Bro's a demon, bro. Clamping onto fishermen's legs and dragging them into the water. And out of all the people this crocodile attacked, only 15 of them would survive to tell Yikes. the story. Yikes. thankfully, in 2005, the crocodile would finally be- Bro, it's massive! Bro, you know, no, that's crazy. Killed and made into luxury handbags. Hey, nice. Five, that's how you get back. Of Rudder Priyag. The first attack came in 1918. Okay, this is a while ago. Village that's cool. The Rudra Priyag district of India. India this server again. Bloody and gruesome killing. Never so again. <laughs> eight long years, leaving. Bro, bro. Twenty-five people dead. This is this is crazy. Very few people would even dare to step outside of their homes after sunset, fearing that the leopard would be waiting for them outside, as he often would. Yikes. Since he preferred the taste of human flesh over anything else. And when people stopped going outside, the leopard began to adapt. Here we go, breaking in again. Break down doors, leap through windows, <laughs> and even come Like Loki, that would be such a hard like that would be such a hard story to tell, bro. You just see like the craziest bag, like the craziest belt. And just like, that's low key. That's low key five, bro. Roof, I'm not gonna lie. Were made from plants. Nah. And once inside, grab the person and drag them out to the dark forest where he would devour them. After hundreds of people met this fate, units of Gurkha and British soldiers were sent in to track the animal down, but failed miserably. Yikes. The British government even offered a handsome reward to anyone who could manage to kill the cat. And many well-known and famous hunters stepped up for the task and failed as well. Yikes. On the of May 1926, the okay. hunter... Okay, after World War I. Back. So bro was doing all this during World War I, bro? Personally take this task on for himself. This would lead him on a 10 to the jungle, where he would track the cat down and shooting it dead. Completing a task that many thought was impossible. That's fine. After examining the body, Corbett would discover that there was nothing inherently wrong with the cat. Well, bro was just a demon. From hunting its regular prey. Bro was just a demon, bro. Some bullet wounds from hunters who had recently missed its vital organs. But other than that, 
it was fine. Quebec came to the conclusion that the cat had developed a taste for human flesh when it was still very young. Yikes. The outbreak occurred years prior and many- Jim Corbett before he sounds familiar. I don't know. I feel like before today, nah, because he, he did get another one early on. I forgot. I think it was the second one. But I don't know because I've I'm, I'm never really been to in like hunters or anything, so I don't really know, but- it does, it does sound like a familiar name. Who died from the disease would be taken to grave sites where they were left unburied. Yikes. To a young cat, this would have been easy food. But when mm. the disease inevitably slowed down, the bodies did too, causing mm. the cat's food supply to dwindle down. So naturally, the cat began to hunt and consume the food that it had always eaten. Yikes. Four, That's crazy. Eating lions of Savo. If there was any man-eating animal on the list that you might have heard of, this would probably be the one. The Savo man-eaters were a pair of male lions in the Savo region of Kenya. These lions would target construction workers who were working on the Uganda and Kenya Railway between March and December of 1898. The pair of lions would stalk the campsites and strike in the dead of night by grabbing workers from their tents and dragging them out to devour them. It's said that anywhere from 28 to 138 they people don't even know. Spain, around 30 Indian workers Yikes. and an unknown amount of native African workers. For some reason, no one kept records of the African workers that went missing. Mm, I wonder why. I wonder why. That's why there's such an enormous disparity in the fatality count. And when the that's crazy, bro. Began, only one of the lions would enter the camp at night, taking one victim to be split among the pair. But as Yo. Time, the pair of lions would become a lot more bold, with both of them going into camps and each of them claiming a victim for themselves. These attacks would be carried out on an almost daily basis. Yo, from March to December, bro. Personally, knowing someone who that's had insane. Missing, it wouldn't be until hundreds of workers abandoned the job site, which caused the entire project to come to a complete stop, that the officials were finally forced to find a solution, sending in around 20 Indian soldiers to hunt the pair of lions down, where they would go on BX. to completely fail. BX. But on December 9th, 1898, Colonel John Henry Patterson would catch okay. one of these lions approaching camp. He would go on to tag it with a high caliber rifle on the back leg and scaring it off just mm. for it to return back the same night mm. Patterson would tag it once more piercing its heart the second line on the other hand was an absolute tank yikes he managed to survive getting shot nine times with 50 cents bro what different guns across an 11 day period yeah. Oh, nah, 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 Run that back, bro. Run that back. Absolute tank. What do you mean? Survived getting shot nine times. Three different guns. Different guns across an. How you get shot nine times with three different guns throughout an 11 day period and you still kick it? What? What? 11 day period. And it wouldn't be until Colonel Patterson yet again placed the final shot on its head that the lions Yo! Today, these lions are proudly displayed at the Field Museum in Chicago. Wow. Number three, That's hard. Gustav. Gustav is a large Nile crocodile from literally Africa. No TJ either. Either one of them. From 200 That's crazy. 200 people on the banks of the Rusizi River and in the connecting lake of Tanganyika. All the locals in Burundi yes. claim to know someone that has been taken by Gustav or someone who has simply vanished without a trace. Yikes. A few locals have even been attacked by him and were lucky enough to live to tell the tale. Mm. Their bodies left covered in scars from the encounter. But here's the terrifying That's part. crazy. Not only is Gustav a man-eater who takes every opportunity he can to devour humans, he is also not a typical size for a night. Watch him be massive. In fact, he is much, much bigger bigger being Bro. the largest nile crocodile to have ever Bro. been recorded here's an image of your average size nile crocodiles and here is gustav oh scientists have speculated that his unusually large size Yikes. prevents him from hunting his regular prey so he mm. had to resort to other means gustav so bro was obese and had to start eating humans really Scared for the kill count on the last one? Nah, for real, because we are already in the two, three hundreds, bro. Easily identified by the scars across his body. The scars that were left after being shot multiple times with an AK-47. They shot mans with an AK and he lived. Uh, yo. After multiple attempts on his life, the locals are now convinced that his hide is so thick that it actually makes He's him... He's <laughs> Bro, 
bro, bro literally has built-in Kevlar, bro. To this day, there have been multiple Yo. attempts to capture him, but have all whoa, ended whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean to this day? Failure. And as far as we know, he still roams the river to this. What do you mean to this day? Dang, get him! Nah. Number two. So I'm definitely never swimming in the Nile because what? The Pinar Maneater. The Pinar Maneater was a male leopard who was responsible for over 400 fatal attacks, which were all carried out in the darkness of night. This Bro. leopard single-handedly terrorized the villagers in the Pinar region in the India server district of India during the early. Yikes, century. man! Years would go by with the leopard having his way. <laughs> God, bro. Like, we need Iron Man. We need Thor. Because, bro, what do you mean to this day, bro? They shot him with an AK. He was like, yeah, I. What? Picking villagers off with ease. The locals grip with fear. Nah, that, nah, that, nah, that forehead is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually crazy, bro. Outside of their homes after sunset. The leopard would eventually adapt to this bro. and again, snatch the villagers from bro. inside their homes, dragging them into the jungle to devour them. The leopard was so efficient in hunting humans that the government eventually had to step in and offer some assistance. The best way that they knew how. They called upon Jim Corbett, the, the man who had a reputation. The man, for bro. Leaders. As we are, I know, bro, go it, bro, go it, bro, go it. Let, let, let's top it up right now. Bro. Let's top it up, bro. Cause that's crazy. His stories on this list. But to kill this elusive animal, it would take Corbett multiple hunting trips yes. before he would ever even get a glimpse of the cat. Corbett would travel for days on foot through the dense Indian forest to reach an area where the leopard was known to hunt. And on mm. his journey, he would even contract malaria. Yo. And that was still not enough to stop him. W man's. Once he finally reached the village where the leopard was last seen, he would set up a base on top of a tree, but not before tying up a small goat 30 yards away to hold nice. lure out the cat. That's what I'm saying, bro. Up. Caught malaria and was like, nah, job's not finished. He's he's literally Tony Stark, bro. Literally. He waited at his post, and as it began to get dark, the birds. Would Matter of fact, nah. He's 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 like Rambo, bro. Man, got two watermelons. Down. <laughs> sign as they would begin to act out in complete fear. Yikes! Soon after he began to hear something brushing against the bushes right next to him, and all he could do was sit and wait. And this would go on for a few minutes. But eventually, whatever was in the bushes slowly worked its way towards the small goat and killing it. And in the complete darkness, Corbett was forced to guess where the monster could be. Yikes. Taking a shot towards the direction of the goat, followed by an angry grunt. And for a second, the scenery lit up from the shot, seeing the cat falling backwards and hearing it run back into the forest. Mm. The villagers were persistent and convinced Corbett to track the animal down that night mm. instead of waiting for the morning like he wanted. Yikes. He told them that the only way he would do it is if they promised to hold their ground if they came across the beast, as they would be the only source of light that he would have mm. and promised they would then begin to track the blood trail left from the cat following the trail through the jungle when out of the darkness the cat would emerge charging straight Yo! with the local villagers running for their lives and in their panic they began to trip over one another dropping the torches to the jungle oh! floor. And in the chaos corbett would take multiple shots at the leopard and killing it. We got a forest fire, not though. Go on to write in his book. I guess not. All right. Locals had not fallen down and tripped over each other. He would have been left standing there in the complete darkness. Mm. And the cat might have been the one True though, they they didn't they didn't stick they didn't stick with their word, bro. Walking away instead of they asked for that. Number one, the devil of India. Bro, this is the single deadliest animal to have ever lived and would make one hunter an absolute Literally. Legend. The Devil of India was a Bengal tigress responsible for an estimated 436 deaths, which Bro. she acquired in Nepal and the Kumal division in India from the late 90s. Bro was moving! That's that's crazy, bro. Century. The tigress was even entered into the Guinness Book of Yikes. World Records, holding the largest number of fatalities by a single animal. The killings first began in western Nepal, where the villagers were tormented and eaten for three long years. That's the insane. Would eventually, be sent in to track the animal down, but she would prove to be too elusive. 
Eventually, the Nepalese army was called in, and they would succeed in scaring her away, forcing her across the border and into India, where she would continue Yikes. to hunt for humans in the Kumal district. That's what I'm Rotating saying, bro. Like, this whole time, I thought the Africa server was the craziest, but apparently I was wrong, because, bro, they got some crazy animals out there, bro. Make a power violence band called Indian Man Eaters. That Loki sounds hard. Multiple villages picking anyone off who would venture into the woods. Bro. And since all the kills were done in broad daylight, this would leave- In broad daylight? Bro, she must have been a SZA fan or something, because what you mean, broad daylight? The villagers completely paralyzed with fear, preventing them from working and leaving their homes. This nightmare Yo. lasts for a dreadfully long four years, but eventually a handsome reward That's crazy. was offered to any man who could manage to kill the beast. Many well-known and famous hunters would attempt this task, but would all return home with a taste of the Yikes. But in 1907, a young and unknown 31-year-old hunter would take this challenge on for himself. Legit. Surprisingly, he would refuse the money as he accepted mm. the task simply to help. Wow. He would begin this hunt with a four day Four years is insane. Through the dense jungle before reaching the town where the animal was last seen. <laughs> they have Uber Eats and nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they gotta just sit back and eat grains or whatever's like around, you know, maybe like venture out for some berries if they're bold enough, but probably not. That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> Yo, town, since hey, he was locked inside of their homes, with the locals claiming that the animal had been roaring in the nearby jungle Yikes. for the last few days. The young hunter would then proceed to the site where the last victim was taken, Yikes. discovering nothing but a few of the victim's bones. Yikes, bro. Word of a new attack reached the village. It was from the neighboring town. It's local baker. <laughs> Once again, but by the time he reached the town, Hubert he eats. The new attack had just taken place. He would reach the attack site and began to the a small glimpse of the tigress on the horizon. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's kind of hard, bro. That's like, that's like beautifully poetic. In a way, but he I guess I don't know. To abandon the pursuit since nightfall was but moments away. The following morning, the hunter came up with a plan. Nah, just that flower though. The villagers to make loud that was kind of OD. screaming and banging pots. As he began to walk mm. through the dense jungle and working his way to the grasslands at the edge of the forest, the villagers would begin to make noise too soon. Yikes. The hunter was left with no choice but to run as fast as he could through the dense jungle, slipping and falling on rocks and roots, trying his best to get to the edge of the forest before the beast. Mm. Once he finally arrived and out of breath, he feared that the he nerds had rope been edible, been yo. Missed her. He waited for a moment, catching his breath, and she appeared. Mm. Out of the forest, like he pretended. sounds yummy. See, he would ready his rifle and take the shot, wounding the animal on the back leg. As the giant cat began to climb over a rock, the hunter took his second shot and missed. Yikes! The cat over the they probably weren't making good enough edibles because they they had just discovered uh, shrooms and stuff. You feel me? So they was like, well, nah, because that was a long time ago. Um, but you know, they probably didn't think about it. I ain't gonna lie. And out of sight. The only option what they should have done is made someone eat some edibles and then get eaten by the, the lion or whatever, so that then the lion would be a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, bro. Catnip. That type of vibe. That's what they should have done, but they didn't think about Once it. Once he climbed over the rock to see where the animal had gone, she would instantly appear Yo! standing on top of another rock where she would begin to charge him head on. And in that instant, the hunter would let off his third shot, sending the animal from a complete charge to collapsing onto the floor. Yo. On the grass, she would take her last and final breath. Upon inspecting the body, the hunter found that the tiger's top and bottom jaw were completely broken. Yikes. The hunter long ago, before she was ever a man-eater, attempted to kill her for sport. Mm. her. Yikes, bro. From hunting and eating her natural El prey, poacher. Resulting in her having to resort to literally, literally, bro's the reason why 436 people got eaten by this thing, bro. El poacher. Humans as a means of survival. Literally, that's to get I, honestly, bro. Honestly, bro. I'm not saying she was right. But like, you know? Long years and you know, over I'm not justifying it, but people, you know what I mean. The nightmare would now come to an end. That's crazy. Though. W man, people from count 31 years old, but that's hard. Finally, have true peace and their normal lives return to them. And for the young hunter who killed the beast, 
he would go down in history as one of the most prolific hunters to have ever lived. He would be remembered for generations and would have the first national park in India named Wow, owner, that's hard. 31 year old Yo! unknown hunter was no one other than Jim Corbett. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What a guy, bro. What a guy. That guy, yo, bro. He's literally a demon slayer, bro. He's a demon slayer, bro. That's, yo, that's crazy, bro. Shout out to him for real, man. That's hard. But, yo. Some of those things were insane, bro. And most of these reasons, I, I figured a lot of these stories would have been from, like, you know, the, the 15th century or something like that. No, bro. Most of these were recent. That's insane to me actually insane man w jim corbett though uh and and, and and you know the like two other guys that uh you know what i'm saying shawty asked to be with a demon sounds like her problem 